welcome to my tube. My name's Marge and my old camp path and I just like doing these little talks on the way I feel about things and as you can see by the look on my face I'm tired. It's been a long day. Good tired. Good tired. It's a good day. You know, it was worth it. You know, I, I got to go within and sit under a tree and the cat hung out on my lap for a while and got to figure some stuff out. And listen to quite a bit of Alan Watts today, so I was in that kind of vibe. I love Scorpio season, man. I freaking love Scorpio season. It's funny, I went and got a cookie today and the gal in the at the um, checkout ish I asked her when her birthday was. It's like that's what I'm, I'm it's, it's that season again. What's your sign? You know, because I know so, I can tell so much about people by when they were born in birth cycles and whatnot but I'm trying not to get too broad a scope um, and she was Scorpio and uh, Aries rising and I was like that's a cool combination I'm Scorpio moon Aries sun you know so and it's funny because she looked like you know I mean, she's just but I could tell a lot about her personality, and I and then I start chiming in on what I know, and then I, and then, you know, that's how I know I can read people's bullshit is because I know my bullshit, and that's the cool part. And the the other dark side of freaking being self aware is like, what do you, now I'm not talking about the nasty CD stuff. The nasty CD stuff that is the stuff that that I have seen or been a part of, but not I don't do. I don't practice myself. Let's be clear on that. So I've just because I've had things done to me. I do not. That's that sickness stops with things that have done to me. I do not carry that though vibrational. <clears throat> anyway, that's how that happens. Um, so we had our regular day, and and then it was a low dip vibrational in me the, the, this evening. Mom got real upset. She just got into her emotions, you know, and, uh, and I went in, and I was like, you know, let's, I, I had an idea, and we just, we did it, we had a spa day real quick, you know, and then I started, and then I decided, no, I got a couple ideas, I'm not necessarily going to talk about them here, but as they unfold, I'll, I'll share them, as they unfold, um, and progress, I'll, I'll show a little, give you a little insight on what, what, um, what I'm going to set up and I think other people might benefit maybe they they have the same practices in their area where they live you know if they take care of somebody maybe they don't but see I, I got all these ideas from my training of practicality and efficiency and and uh, everybody needs a schedule and stuff like that so but anyway so we did um and I learned some things you know I didn't know she liked pedicures I don't think she ever painted her toes and then it occurred to me that she can't reach her feet Hmm. And I was like, you know what we're gonna do? We're putting that on. A, we're gonna do that every every well, every day. I'm gonna rub your feet. Cause you know what? That's the thing is, she had cleft feet when she was born, and I'm coming to another level of how I can reach people from the depth of their pain because she was born with cleft feet, and that's one of her fondest memories. She that's what it started was. Um, she was in gratitude. She's like, she's just grateful that she can walk. Because she was born with cleft feet. She was adopted. Because her, her, her regular parents' story is... Because she was three when she was adopted. So the, regu the story is her parents couldn't afford the, the bill. So they put her up to it for adoption out of that sacrifice. And then Robert and Margaret um, adopted her and... Um, then she was able to have the surgeries, and then Robert really stretched her feet and helped. Um, and then during the summer, you know, she had to watch and listen to the kids play outside because she was always in casts and stuff. And it just freaking sucked, man. It just sucked. So she's she got used to solitude and being within and stuff like that. So, so you know, to honor, I decided today to honor the work and the and and that legacy of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and continue that and rub her feet every day. 
and try not to beat myself up too bad for not doing that all along, you know. But, you know, we did that, and she had some hot cocoa, and freaking she went to bed feeling good, and tomorrow I'm going to go do laundry, and I'm going to, I'm going to buy some pink toenail polish, because she likes to paint her toes, and I'm going to, you know, and I'm good at that stuff, you know, I'm good. I'm good at painting toes, and, po and that's the thing, is people have an idea of me, and expectation of me, and I'm good at makeup and stuff like that, it's just, nobody ever invites me to places to go, I used to, you know, when I got sick of places going by myself, you know, I used to go to freaking the opera, buy a new bow tie, new outfit, go to the opera, take myself out to Dolly Parton, you know, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, you know, Mumford and Sons, I've taken myself on lots of dates, you know, I gotta treat myself it, you know, if, if I can't find someone to at least match that, then psh, they ain't even worth my effort, yeah? But, so, anyway, Scorpio season. But I love it because it's also Halloween gives people a chance to get a sample of, you know, something, an idea of maybe they want a, a sample of how they want to be so they can try it on. I never wore a lot of costumes. When I was a kid, I was a clown. <laughs> There's, I got pictures of me when I dress up. One time I was a gypsy, and I and I wrapped a, a ball, like um, a rubber ball with <laughs> freaking aluminum foil. By the end of the night, it was all falling off. It sucked. But as a gypsy, you know. So I got this in me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reader. I'm a medium. You know, we just, mediums are like radios. We just read from all sorts of frequencies. Anyway, so mom felt good, and then... To settle in before I, uh, I was watching the Goldbergs. They did a freaking wonderful job, I think, on their Halloween. I freaking, I, I think they did a wonderful, that was their Halloween episode. I'm not even over it, done yet. Or, um, not well, the Goldbergs. The Goldbergs, I just started. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Schooled did a phenomenal job on their Halloween episode. You know, and people of all ages should be able to express themselves at all, every day, though. That's the thing, at all different times of year. People are always feeling different, you know. I got different flavors for different occasions, you know. I could, but see, I can, people, I could really surprise people. Cause I'd bust out in a long gown, some freaking, pot, you know, I could blow some people's minds, you know. Just because people have an idea who I am, and when I see people... And I hear their signs. I I get pretty much of a rec a sums up, you know. I get the gist of who they are, cause a Scorpio is a Scorpio and Aries and Aries, you know. Unless people are like really denying themselves and like totally twisted, then we ain't good at vibe and I we ain't hanging out no how. <laughs> anyway, so I made Mama hot cocoa, and I made me some decaf. With some pumpkin spice creamer, and I burnt the roof of my mouth. Because, like, my friend Pam gave me some uh, candy at the laundromat, and, and I freaking mouth on it and Butterfinger with the coffee. Freaking, I burnt the roof of my mouth. But it's like most people burn the roof of their mouth from pizza, but not even worth it because that's like the only way that it's like the most common denominator of how people burn their mouths. But this was. This was worth it. So, what else? School was rad. Where am I at? About, mm -hmm. Oh, tis the season, so I think it's really rad that people are... Oh, and you know how I know the world is going to be okay? Because there's little kids in the Midwest. Because there's people like this, man. I think this is cool. Because, like I said, people should be able to get embrace their dark and dirty side, you know, and have fun, you know. And Just because I don't drink doesn't mean that some people can't drink. I just, it ain't for me, man. And I, some people can't have one, you know, for those cheers. But as I know people in the Midwest are freaking cool. Like, they have their, this one lady I know, Star, uh, she has the setup on her porch with the candy and everything all set up. And then she has the boxes of wine set up for the parents the parent station too. I think that is just so bad and it's so cold and chill you know that you freaking put all the beverages outside on the front porch and it stays cool you know and people are really hospitable and stuff like that. But safety first you know and watch the kids you know and keep it real and not the dirty you know. Um, 
and then a little boys named Ben dressed as Pegasus. Little, not Pegasus, unicorns. This little four-year-old boy, three, four, he was went around trick-or-treating. He was so excited to, he saw, to hand out candy that he wanted to skip the rest of the trick-or-treating and then uh, opted to go home and hand out candy and he even decided to stand on his front <laughs> yard on the sidewalk holding the bag of candy and hand out so everyone knew that he was home to hand out candy. This is how I know the world's going to be okay. <laughs> it's just going to be a hard landing from this gong, 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 my is right society, this, this, there, holy hell, there is enough for everybody, you know. There is enough, there is good in the world. Because we're having this more and more of an opportunity to see it. Because more and more dark is exposed, so, which is a good thing, so more people can step from, you know, our light back into the dark and say, hey, we've been there with you. And you are not alone. You are not alone. It is scary and it is painful and it is ugly and gross and it is hard. Some of us are here with you every step of the way. So, embrace the change, man. I love how kids get to be because, man, I never got to be that way. I'm excited to, you know, be the grown-up and the kid equal opportunities you know so I'm gonna go back to my evening show I'm wrapping up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna in uh, watching the Goldberg now and then I'm wrapping it up with single parents I really like that show so that's all I got for now hope you have a safe safe evening happy Halloween enjoy dipping down into your dark and dirty safety first don't do things that you don't you don't want to pay the karma for peace Mm.